Hi boys, in the previous classes we were discussing the process by which green plants prepare their food. And this process is known as photosynthesis, isn't it? Through photosynthesis, green plants absorb carbon dioxide and after the preparation of food along with glucose, they release another gas named oxygen. Now, the absorption of carbon dioxide and releasing of oxygen takes place through minute pores that are present on the leaf surface. Okay, and these minute pores, you are familiar with the term, these minute pores are known as stomata. Through this video, teacher will try to show you a stomata. Now, the minute pores are not visible through our naked eyes. So, how come we, can, we will be able to view stomata through our naked eyes? It's not possible, isn't it? For viewing such tiny minute particles which are not visible through our naked eyes, we use this particular instrument. Here, I am introducing you to the instrument which is used to view those minute objects which are not visible through our naked eyes and here we have the microscope. Many of you may be familiar with it. You might have uh, seen this in many movies. Maybe you may, may have seen it in the pictures. Or some may have seen the real ones also. So before we view the stomata through the microscope, I will just give you a small introduction about the different parts of the microscope. You don't have to study the parts of the microscope by heart, but just for your basic information. Here, this is the portion through which we will be viewing the specimen. This is known as the eyepiece. Okay, it is through the eyepiece that we will be viewing the specimen. And one more lens is present in the microscope and they are known as the objective lenses here. In this microscope, I am having two objective lenses. We can choose the objective lens that we want to use with the help of the revolving nose piece. See, the revolving nose piece will help us to choose the objective lens that we want for viewing the specimen. Now, to cover up the distance here between the objective lens and the specimen, we have the help of the two knobs. A bigger knob and a smaller knob. The big one is known as the coarse adjustment knob. With this knob, just observe it carefully, I am moving the objective lens very near to the specimen. Here. And with the fine adjustment knob, I will be able to focus the objective lens. Okay, the objective lens can be focused using the smaller knob known as the fine adjustment knob. Now, where to keep the specimen? Here, this black square piece is known as the stage of the microscope. It is here that we will be mounting our specimen. I am keeping a glass light so that it will be clear for you. Now, to keep the specimen and to hold it properly, we use the help of this stage clips. Okay, the stage clips help us to keep the specimen intact on the stage. And to view any object, we require light, isn't it? You won't be able to view anything if it is dark. So, the microscope also requires light. And the light for the microscope is provided with the mirror here. See, you can see the mirror here. This mirror will reflect the sunlight towards the microscope. This is how you will get light for the microscope. And then if you are viewing the specimen through the eyepiece, adjusting the objective lens using the fine adjustment knob, you will be able to clearly view the specimen. Now here, our objective is to see the stomata, isn't it? Now, you, stomatas are present on the leaves. Of course, here, teacher is having a beetle leaf with me. 
can i just keep this leaf there under the microscope and view do you think we can observe a stomata through that it is not possible to view a stomata we have to prepare a slide i have already prepared a slide here this is the slide which contains the epidermis of a leaf i have used the beetle leaves epidermis and through this slide you can see the stomata that are present here on this epidermis we will see what are the materials that are required to prepare such a slide of course the first material that we require is the leaf teacher is using a beetle leaf here then i have here a glass slide this is a glass slide on which we will be preparing the specimen okay then here i have a cover glass okay i have glycerin here then we will be using a pink colored stain the stain that we use is known as the saffron stain solution this is used to give color to the specimen what we are viewing okay then i have a small brush as well as a needle here so we will now proceed to the preparation of the slide i have taken the glass slide there now to get the epidermis the stomata if, since we are viewing the stomata stomatas are mostly found on the lower part of the leaf okay so we have to get the thin layer from this leaf to get the thin layer what we have to do is we will be tearing the beetle leaf in the opposite direction of the veins so that the thin layer will be seen only a small portion is required here i have got a thin layer of the epidermis okay only this much is needed here we have taken the small part of the epidermis from the leaf and now i have placed it on the glass slide okay then you can just give a small moisture to the specimen by adding a drop of glycerin to it at the same time just make sure that you are spreading that layer carefully huh then to give the color i am adding a drop of dilute saffron solution okay this is enough see we are placing the cover glass because the specimen will be kept very near to the lens okay and if at all this uh, water comes in contact to the lens there is a possibility that fungus may be formed on the lens and the lens may get destroyed okay so to prevent that it is always good to use a cover glass on top of your specimen so i'm just trying to place the cover glass carefully using a needle so here the glass slide for viewing the stomata is ready now what we have to do is we have to use a microscope isn't it you can't view it with the naked eye so definitely we have to keep it under a microscope so let me just take the microscope away i've taken the microscope here with the help of the bigger knob i'm moving the lens 
upward. Now see carefully, teacher is placing the glass slide here on the stage and then with the help of the stage clips, I am just fixing the glass slide here on the stage. Then with the help of the course adjustment knob, I am moving the lens closer to the specimen. You should adjust the light that is coming towards the microscope for this and see whether the slide is placed in the correct place. Quite a number of stomatas here. So now teacher will show you the stomatas. So today I introduced you to a new instrument which is very important in a science class. It is the microscope and also we study how to prepare a glass slide to view a stomata. I hope it is clear to you.